so Since your hair, I'm asking you to stay I'm trying to fight my tears I just got used to it Alright y'all, so before we get into the little get ready with me, bear with me because I haven't done my makeup in so long I'm not sure how this is about to turn out. I can't even tell you the last time I did my makeup. But we're going to get into the questions. Make sure y'all are following my main page at Tanaya Anitra so you guys can have some type of input on these videos because I feel like I really didn't get enough questions. But it's fine. We just go work with what we got. Of course, we gotta start off with our primer. I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. This primer is known to like help with flashback. I'm gonna do a little of that, and then we're gonna get into the questions. And all these products will be linked down below. Also, leave me some tips on like how y'all clean y'all makeup brushes or makeup products, period, because it's like my whole makeup box is just nasty at this point. Somebody asked, when is your due date? I've said this quite a few times, but my due date is May 10th. And it's crazy because if you don't know, Kingston was born prematurely, but he was supposed to be born in May as well. I think he was like, my due date with Kingston was like May 2nd or somewhere up in there, but he ended up being a March baby, a little Pisces. So yeah, it's crazy how I literally ended up like pregnant at the same time I was with Kingston. And then the baby do at the same time. But yeah, I kind of have a feeling this baby's gonna come in April. <sighs> but that could just be me like hoping for it. So for our foundation, we are going in with the Morphe. We're going in with the Morphe Soft Focus Foundation. Look at me trying to be a beauty guru. I really want to get better with these types of videos. I don't know, chit chat, get ready with me is kind of like so difficult because I'm not the best at multitasking and I don't want to do too much. I don't want a lot of coverage today. How do you feel having another baby on the way? By the way, congratulations. I don't know, like I really feel like it's like I know I'm pregnant, I'm excited, I'm doing the baby shopping, but I feel like it's not really gonna hit me until the baby's actually here like damn i really got two kids now yeah i'm excited kingston is super excited to be a big brother i feel like the hard thing about like expecting another child especially like going so long with just having one child and kingston you know is used to like being the only child and just getting his way not having to share not having to do all that extra stuff but sometimes i'll be feeling like this mom guilt because it's like i'm just so used to having him i have no idea like how to share myself and that's something i'm just gonna have to learn and kissing is just so like clingy to me and i just don't want him to feel like i'm replacing him or i don't have as much time for him yeah that's just that's the hard part for me i'm trying to figure out how i'm supposed to i don't know share myself equally equally between these two kids it's like i tell him all the time that like you're not being replaced i love you so much you're always gonna be my baby you're my first baby and he he knows that but it's like the baby ain't here yet you know so it's like you never really know how he's gonna react because i know when my sister first came in the picture i was only four then but kids is gonna be six by the time his brother is here i was jealous as hell why are you here so my edges are thinning when i say i have almost every pregnancy symptom in the book it'll make no sense like i have this weird i don't know i don't know something's going on with my boobs like it's like some of my skin is just falling off like it's my boobs are like red underneath like you would think it's the meat and i don't know what's going on i'm gonna have to ask my doctor about that but it's pretty scary it burns when you touch it for concealer i am using tarte um, I use the shade Tan Deep Honey and Tan Deep Sand. They're very close. One of them is my favorite, but I cannot remember. I really think it's Tan Deep Sand. One of them I use when I want like a little brighter eye. I don't know which one I be using. I'm really not trying to go for a real bright eye today. I'm really not trying to do too much at all. I don't know. We're going to see how that comes out and then go from there. And I'm just going to spray that with my morphe setting spray somebody asked will you try again for a girl i definitely will but i would probably wait the same amount of time like i did with this baby like probably six years from now five six years from now how old am i gonna be i'm gonna be like in my late 
when age? I'm gonna be like 27, 28. I feel like that's still a good age to have a child, you know? My kids are gonna be so spaced out, like I'm all, I'm already seeing it. I just feel like six years is kind of spaced out. Like, will Kingston even be in school with my child, like at all? Okay, I don't know what the hell that just did, but it didn't do a damn thing. Honestly though, I'm really scared to try for another girl because, not another girl, I don't have one. Scared to try for a girl because what if it just ends up being another boy? Cause I really don't really, I don't know. I really don't know how many kids I want. I don't know, this pregnancy has me like, I don't want no more kids. This is the worst freaking pregnancy if I'm comparing it to Kingston. Postpartum with Kingston was terrible though. Like, I damn near died. I think this is the one I don't like. I don't know. Maybe the baking powder will make it better. It's a fry bottles one. Somebody asked, are you going to do a moving series? And of course. Why wouldn't I? It's so exciting, like, moving into a new home. And attempting to make it your your own i say attempting because i really don't be decorating for real so when i move this time i'm really gonna try to you know take decorating series but it's just something i really don't be nobody comes over for real like i never have company and then i just stay in my room like i don't know i'm always just in my room like my first two apartments i was barely in the living room not barely and even the word hardly i don't know maybe i feel like maybe if i just decorated more and took decorating more seriously then maybe I will actually want to be, you know, in the living room and stuff. Yeah, we are definitely doing a moving series this time around. And I'm so excited. Mm, that's honestly as good as it's going to get, child, okay? What comes after concealer? Well, for contour, I'm going to be using the True Complexion Contour Palette. And this is in medium to dark. And then... Don't laugh at my makeup. I'm using the Fenty Beauty contour stick and espresso. And I promise the next time I do one of these videos, my products, my products gonna be looking good. Okay, they're gonna be squeaky clean because this is embarrassing. But I use the this palette. I really just use the contour. I don't use the scope. I don't use the highlight. This will always be my favorite. Kind of feel like I applied a little too much. That's literally all. I use this for as my nose. Next question. Have you picked a name out? Y'all. It's so crazy because when I was pregnant with Kingston or when I found out I was pregnant with Kingston, I immediately knew what his name was going to be simply because I always just said, I'm going to name my son this. Like I heard the name from someone and I was like, yeah, I'm going to name my son that. It's just so cute. That's how he got his name. But this time around, I never just had another, I never had another name picked up because I was so confident that like, my next child is gonna be a girl. And you know, I was just like really trying to manifest that, but that manifestation ain't work. And I did have some names that I really like and really thought I was gonna go with. But unfortunately, like me and my baby daddy can't agree on anything. And he feels like the baby's name shouldn't start with a K. I really wanted both of my boys' names to start with a K, but he was like, no, let them have their own identity or whatever. And I'm like, just because they have the same letter doesn't mean anything, like, but he's just so against K names for some reason. I mean, I kind of think I know the reason, but it's still not that serious. So I had some really cute K names picked out, but I do have to take into consideration what he wants to, I guess, which sucks, but. So as of right now, I don't have any names. I don't have not one single name that I've just felt like, yes, I'm I'm naming my son that. I have to name my son that. And people have really been trying to help me with like name suggestions and I don't know. I feel like I really got comfortable with the names I did have. So now it's like when I hear anything else, it's like, you know, my baby daddy also wanted the baby to be a junior, but I'm just not naming my son. I'm just not naming my child after a man if we're not married. It's just, I'm just not doing it. And plus like, my baby daddy name is just really like unique and it's different. Like you won't really hear nobody with that name. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I'm, I'm definitely not naming my child that. I like it for him him only but my child definitely not i feel like this is kind of ugly but 
it's done i had to do i'm gonna start with like watching makeup tutorials because i feel like i do makeup in the most 2016 type of way not that there's anything wrong with that because that 2016 makeup used to be a look and I'm seeing some of the girlies bring it back. But it's just, I feel like I need to learn some new techniques or something because I literally haven't switched it up not one bit since I've started doing makeup. And this nose contour is so ugly. How did you find out you were pregnant the second time? Did you have any symptoms? Um, The only thing that had me like scared was the fact that my period was like, 15 days late but i get scared every time my period is 15 days late like even if i'm not doing nothing i would just get scared because like why is it so late but my period is irregular anyway so i kind of even when i took a pregnancy test finally because i was like my period has been late but i don't remember it being like 15 days late it's been like 12 days late 13 but 15 i've never had that problem and even when i did finally take a pregnancy test because of how late it was i still didn't believe it because there's been times i went to the doctor and the doctor is like you're pregnant and i'm like there's literally no way she's like yes you're pregnant and then whole time i set up ob appointment and all that and i'm not even pregnant it's just my hormones which i kind of figured but then again it's like how can you tell this doctor you ain't pregnant girl so yeah, I thought it would, it would be one of those situations again where it's just my hormones are acting crazy for some reason. So when I pee on a stick, it's going to say positive even though I'm not pregnant. Yeah, that wasn't the case this time. Another symptom that really got me was just that my boobs started to feel really heavy. And I felt like that was starting to look a lot more just swollen. So I went to the doctor and she confirmed it for me. I still had a hard time believing it then, but what's the number one thing you love about being a mom? That would have to be like, I don't know. I just, it's so many things that I don't even know where to start because with my son, I just see myself in him so much. He's literally like a boy version of me. But I love that you just have someone that loves you unconditionally, like flaws and all that just love you and adore you so freaking much. I know you might have those times where like you feel alone and stuff because I know I'd be like, oh, I'm, like I'm so lonely, but the whole time I'm not lonely. I have my son and like anytime I'm down, my son is going to put a smile on my face every time like my son really lights up my world and i don't know where i would be if i didn't have him like i don't i like to drown my face i don't know if that does anything i don't know if that makes it any better but that's what we're doing what's one thing you wish you could tell your younger self one thing i wish i could tell my younger self is that everything doesn't need a reaction I feel like I've gotten my most like messed up situations just reacting off of how someone else treated me. It, like if somebody said something like false about me or if somebody caught me out my name or somebody spread rumors, I'm just like, I turn into a hothead and I kind of make this. So at the time I might feel like, oh, you deserve that. I don't give up, you know, but in the end you're like, nobody should make you that mad. Nobody should see you like that. And that don't even go for my younger self. That goes for both my younger self and myself today because I still like react really bad when people play with me. And I want to get to a space where I'm just at peace with everything. Like you can say what you want. You can dog me out. You can call me this. You can call me that. But you won't get a reaction out of me because I know that is the best way to like really mess with somebody. Like they see you not reacting to that negative energy they putting out. It just... It makes me feel like, damn, I can't do nothing to get to this girl. Yeah, I just have real like anger problems and I want to learn how to not let that affect me. I feel like if I learned how to deal with negative situations better, I would be much further in life. For my lips, I'm going in with the NK pencil. I just got this from the beauty supply store, but I'll try to have it like linked down below. And then I got my favorite, my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Sugar High. That's literally my favorite, like my all time. But um, yeah, those are pretty much all the questions. Like I said, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram so y'all can have more input on like these type of videos but since like we're out of like the good questions i guess i could give y'all a little life update i'm just gonna ramble like i always do 
and hope that you guys enjoy it. Um, as y'all can probably see, we have not been at my grandma's house like whatsoever. We haven't been there in a while. When I got on like TikTok live the other day, make sure y'all follow me on TikTok as well because that's where I really be at. When I got on TikTok live the other day, people were like, where are you? You know, like, why are you in a hotel? And we are in a hotel. It's like one of those studio apartment looking vibe hotels. It's like a long term stay hotel. So me and my mom have been here in Kingston. I'm not gonna say we have like been staying here because we don't really be here. I only come here when I just feel like I need that time away from my baby daddy. You know, I feel like I'm kind of becoming too like codependent on him. So that's the only reason I'm even here now. And I'll come here to like, you know, get Kingston ready for school and all that stuff but other than that i'm never really here and yeah i'm just not with my grandma anymore because for one her neighbors they they don't like us for some reason i don't know why because we don't bother anybody but i also just have been here or just away from my grandma's house and just not staying there because i feel like my mental is bad when i'm staying with my grandma and i'll be completely honest like i know a lot of y'all see the content with my grandma and like oh my gosh we need more videos with grandma but i cannot do that all the time because honestly like i'm probably just like the most depressed when i'm even surrounded by my grandma not all the time not even just my grandma but like other family members that are around sometimes so i'm really just trying to learn to love people from a distance it's a lot that goes on behind a closed door the child wouldn't even understand but I love my grandma. It's just I have to do what's best for like my mental, you know. And with that being my grandma, it's like I don't want to disrespect her, of course. I don't want to like say or do something I'm going to regret. So I just kind of keep my distance. Even though she doesn't really feel the same way towards me. I really wish I could like talk about it so y'all could understand for real. But I don't know. It's kind of starting to make me a little emotional but i'm not gonna get on here and cry but yeah like i was saying i washed my hair yesterday the first day of the wash and go is always the ugliest to me for some reason i just like my hair like big and fluffy and it takes a few business days for my wash and go to even get to that point but yeah like i was telling y'all my mom did get approved for her place and i'm so happy so right now we're just waiting on like them to do expect inspection or something and then and then she'll be able to move in that's pretty much what we're waiting on and that's pretty much where i'll be until until the baby is almost here you know it's so late into my pregnancy i'm in the I'm in my third trimester now. I'm just trying to thug it out until it's almost over. Because my appointments are down here. I have so many doctors I go to now because since I am high risk, I go to like four different doctors for, I don't even know, honestly. I mean, I know I have sickle cell, but I just, I'm just trying to make it easier on myself and not put too much stress on myself right now because my body, my hormones, my mind, it's already going through a lot right now do y'all like my hair be honest i don't think i like it i don't like this edge right here that's what i don't like is this the end of our get ready with me i'm trying to see if i like it y'all i like it but you know what's missing we just needed some earrings that's all we needed is that that makes a little difference you see that i wish i had some silver earrings but I don't. It's really not looking good with this silver necklace, but you know, you just gotta make it work with what you got, honestly. I'm looking good. Uh, natural curls on fleek. For our fragrance of the day, this is the Valentina Born in Roma, but this is the intense version. Okay, so that is pretty much it for today's chit chat. Get ready with me. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If y'all want me to do more of these, just let me know. Yeah, once again, make sure you follow my Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. Um, I really want to do another one because I feel like nobody asked no real 
good juicy questions and y'all know i like to i love to talk i don't mind talking so yeah make sure y'all follow my instagram and let me know if y'all want another one of these or comment some questions you have down below and i would love to do like you know a part two or something yeah i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video let me know how y'all like today's look hair makeup all of that on a scale from one to ten and let me know if y'all do makeup y'all like give me some tips let me know what i could work on you know because i'm really not liking the under eyes right now and i could have done my eyebrows but i suck at eyebrows enough rambling i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one